Hello, my friends. Today, I want to show you how to mop a floor the right way. I have bought two janitorial cleaning businesses. I have done a lot of cleaning in my life. I've started a pressure cleaning business, bought a pressure cleaning business, bought a window cleaning business. So it's, I've done a lot of cleaning, okay? At the end of the video, I want to show you two amazing machines to vacuum. I, oh my, th this one is absolutely incredible. Okay, but I want to show you how to mop right now. I might show you how to take the mop head off, maybe not, let's kind of see how it goes. And I like to do mopping a certain way, okay? So, um, I, I like the floor to actually be clean. So when I, like, what, what <clears throat> for this, I like to put like, like a bleach type thing, maybe chlorine type thing in the water. You don't have to put a lot, but I like something in there to kind of like kill the germs. You know, people are going in the bathroom and, and spreading stuff all around the floors and stuff. It's, I like to actually like kill the germs and have it be sterile. And also like some soap in there. If you have too much soap, that may be a problem. You don't want it to be, um, you, you want to, <clears throat> you need to be careful what time of the day you're doing it. You don't want people to do, to like slip and fall. You, um, so this is a very safe time of the day to do it right now. And um, I want to go ahead and show you how I do it and like kind of like, kind of like what I like to do. And um, let's go ahead. So basically, here's the mop right here, okay? So this one has a wood pole. Um, there's one somewhere with an aluminum pole. So basically, even when you have like your solution in, um, you may want to kind of go ahead and like kind of put it up and down a little bit um, and get it in there. And then when you, when you put it in, one, you don't want the floor generally like too wet when you're done. It may not dry quite well, okay? So right here, I can go ahead and do this right now, like, like this. But if you're trying to make it extra dry, you might want to take it and do a twist and then kind of go like that and get more out. Maybe even try to twist it more, okay? And it kind of depends on what you're going for at that moment. Um, just be, be safe with like the slipperiness. Now this tile can maybe actually kind of, um, yeah, but it is a very safe time of the day to do it. So anyways, right, whatever. So here we go. Let's go ahead and dip this in and go ahead and get started. So here we are. And you may go some times and do somewhere and you might see someone mopping like this. Okay, I want to discourage you from that type of mopping. Okay, let's use this example. Here's something on the floor. If I'm going and I'm mopping and I'm mopping and I'm like kind of like, I may push it over there. Maybe I'll catch it in the mop. Maybe it'll fall off later. It looks like it caught it there. There it is right there. So what you want to do is you, okay, you want the floor to be clean um, of like the loose stuff when you vacuum. But maybe something will gotten overlooked. Hopefully it's good. But anyways, for this type of scenario, maybe this will help you see it. When you're going, you want to kind of turn the mop like so, like turn it, okay? And you can even kind of get like kind of flamboyant with it. Um, you can kind of like spin it and see how, how wide it opens up. So like this. So for here, uh, and what it kind of does is you, you go this way and you spin and you capture that. And you come here and you spin and it's probably still in the mop. So basically, so let's go ahead and put this in and let's go ahead and start mopping and just kind of see what I do. And, but it is important to not have it too wet. It, it may not dry very well. So, here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and I may wanna start right here. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So I come here, so you can, I can do it different ways. I can kind of run it along the baseboard thing or whatever I want right here. Um, and when I come to a corner, come over here, um, when I come to like a doorway right here, so some people may, maybe you want to kind of go up like that, but you know, if you have carpet up and if you do have like a bleach type thing, you don't want to damage the carpet, maybe you can kind of like flick your mop in, in there like this, kind of like flick it in. And actually, if there is something there, maybe kind of like pull it out. Now, yes, the vacuum should have done a good job, but maybe you can kind of get stuff out if it is in there. Okay, so you can kind of do this little like spin thing. Don't want the things to get kind of like this. Okay, so let's kind of go here and spin. Let's go here, here. And you don't really want to leave footprints. So see, I kind of go like this and I spin it. And you can actually mop pretty quickly like this if you so desire. 
Um, and what I, one thing I like about using a little bit of a, like bleach type chlorine solution is that if you, it can actually help keep your grout clean. Like I think it helps it, <coughs> excuse me, I think it can help like the, like the discoloration like to not happen, at least as bad. And um, there may be times you may need to use maybe a grout brush or something, or, or maybe like a, a buffer type thing. But if you do clean it good, um, it, it should help. Like if you do the right stuff. So here we have something interesting. We have like a table here. So there might be, I might, I might be able to go in and kind of flick it in there. You might be able to kind of go in like this, or maybe just kind of come in and just flick it in, or maybe you just want to go like here. But be careful with your back. And now let's go ahead and go a little bit faster. I've kind of talked about it. So let's kind of go ahead and move faster. <coughs> Excuse me. So here I come and moving along. And it might help you depending on your lighting situation to know to like kind of, you might be able to see in the light the reflection of like if it's wet or not. And um, you want like a nice even sheen. So I got this part right here. I have the option, I can pull this out if I want to, or I can kind of like mop in around it. I'm not super, um, super worried about pulling it out at this moment. So I can even stick the mop under and then I can flip it like that, okay? But, and sometimes you might need to do one of this number, but you, you wanna try to avoid that. You may actually be kind of like pushing dirt, okay? So let's go ahead and keep moving. Um, and I might kind of finish the end of the hallway pretty fast here. Let me go ahead and dip this in and uh, go ahead and move the bucket. And I'm gonna probably do this part of the hallway like pretty quickly. And you can actually have quite a bit of speed with this way. And uh, by the way, my friends, you are amazing. Thank you so much for watching this movie. And um, please give it a thumbs up if this has been helpful to you. I'd really appreciate it. Consider subscribing. I love you, you are amazing. Okay, so. I want to go ahead, and if I'm going to walk down there anyways, I might as well just kind of flick it up in here again, just like this while I walk, and kind of go ahead and move quick. So bam, and you can do big strokes, don't throw your back out, and you can cover a pretty large area pretty quickly, okay? So here's a doorway, I can kind of flick in there if I want to. Ah, oh, remember this piece right here? There it is. The one we were, I think that's the same one we were looking at earlier. So here we are. <coughs> um, so there's a little piece I didn't get down. So I can actually put the mop down and kind of go over and just kind of flick it around like that. So kind of flick it over and just kind of capture whatever and um, go and keep moving. So now <clears throat> here's another thing. This is an interesting spot right here. <clears throat> now some areas you might need to put more water in, on, like if it's like kind of a, a really dirty area, really grimy area. This place is kept to a pretty high level of clean, but um, if you happen to be mopping somewhere and it's like pretty, pretty dirty, you may need to, what you may need to do is kind of take your mop and kind of get it like wet and kind of let it like, you know, kind of get really wet and let it kind of soak a little bit. <coughs> and then maybe go ahead and do something else and come back to it later and scrub it. I want to show you another trick too. So let's pretend that like this spot is a really hard spot. So there's a couple things that you might want to try. try. <laughs> One is take your shoe and just kind of go like this on it. I'll take the mop and kind of go like this. Or another one is take here and maybe use this, maybe use this, and maybe kind of even, maybe you want to put the mop like that. Maybe you can kind of go like this or maybe go like here, okay? Um, like so. Let's say this is a bad spot right here, okay? And just kind of you know hit that piece maybe it's a good piece of gum or something so <clears throat> if you do it this way it may not keep your grout completely clean it may still get dirty but it may help like the funk like the mold and stuff to not grow in the grout you might still get some dirtiness that may um that may be there so maybe you need to come up with like a a, a bristle brush it's not going to probably um like always keep your grout 100 percent clean but it might help mold to not grow um, in your grout if you have some chlorine or bleach like in the water, okay? So just kind of be aware of that. Um, so let's kind of do this. So we got, there's kind of like a mess going on right here. Let's 
kind of go ahead and move this bucket out here. And let's kind of go ahead over here. Okay. So here's another doorway. I'm going to go here. And then um, for this water fountain area, I might actually do like the push method. <laughs> here's a spot that looks like a little bit harder. So I might want to kind of go and push it with like this way to get it. And see, there it is. It works. So here, I might want to take this in. And there's a little bit back there. And um, sometimes you might need to do the push area, I mean push method, and maybe even like try to, if there is something, kind of grab it out just in case the vacuum didn't get it. Maybe something like that. Come in. Come. And if you're really trying to be thorough, maybe even like move the water fountain. Okay. So here we go. Let's kind of go like this and this. And see, when you're doing this turn method, it's nice if they're, okay. You can cover like a pretty large area, like so. Now, if you're having problems with the mop sliding around, what you may need to do is you may need to tighten this. See this? And see, if you want to take the mop off, you can kind of go here, and it should pop off some um, here, okay. And see like here, that's how to take the mop head off. How to put a mop head on, you put it, see here, like here's the mop, and you want to kind of go ahead and put it probably like about in the middle, and um, push this on, and it needs to be pretty level, right? Probably about in the middle. Let's go ahead and turn this, and we, it's good to be kind of tight. And um, something else I would caution against, like if you're in like a bathroom and there's like the sharp, like um, or maybe like sharp edges or something, or maybe like the stalls and stuff, maybe be careful of catching this on that. You don't want to like um, catch it on there and have little five little strands stuck there or whatever. So let's kind of go ahead and put this thing in and let's keep mopping. So this floor is pretty good, but there is a dirty spot like right there. And so you can kind of approach something like this a couple different ways, okay? One, I can go, okay, I can go this way. Maybe I want to go here and then maybe cut around and go here and then maybe just kind of do it this way. Or maybe I want to kind of do this way. Now you can use these tiles to kind of get a feel, maybe it can kind of help you to have like a pattern. So let's kind of go ahead and do this this way and come here, go along here, come here, and come here, and come here. And I could even be like, hey, let's use this thing right here, this line right here, where to go? And I can come here. Now that I've done there, then maybe I want to kind of go like here. So here's it, here's the way. And you can move pretty quickly when you're flying with the mop. So, and then if you want, you can turn around, spin, and just kind of go like that. Okay? So let's kind of go here. And you don't really want to have footprints, so maybe just kind of like, yeah. Okay. So then there's a, this is kind of a different area. It's kind of like open. Um, it's like goes off here, and you, you might want to kind of like cut it up into a section. So maybe do like from this point here, right here, to maybe here, okay? So kind of come here, and just kind of figure out what works for you, okay? Different um, people are different. So you may want to come here, if you're so inclined, come here, and kind of do this, this point. You don't really want to miss spots. That's... Um, Go ahead and bring this up. You don't really want to miss spots, and if you need to do a certain pattern to help you not miss spots, then great. Okay, so I can kind of come here, um, here. I might do another video on um, cleaning grout. So we, what does I want to do to so that line thing, whatever? So there's that. So then if I'm like, hey, let's go ahead and do this kind of area right here, okay? Let's kind of go here. Um, and there's a, a more of a bad spot. I might need to go over it a couple times. So, let's kind of go here. Please let me know in the comments if you have a better way to do it. Um, if you have a favorite mop. Um, let me know what you think, okay? Please, I would appreciate it. So, it's kind of though, maybe similar to like when you're doing window cleaning, 
you kind of have the, what if you do it? But if you're doing like window thing, you may do the squeegee. And um, so you kind of may do the mop kind of similar. And just kind of, and you can kind of get flamboyant with it. You can kind of go and spin, don't fall on the floor, whatever you do. And you can kind of really get with it and be moving quickly. Um, pretty quickly. But if you're going like this way, you don't want to miss spots against the wall, okay? So if I'm going this way, so you might want to just go ahead and do a stroke by the wall. So you can kind of go ahead and go like this and, um, and know that you're not going to probably miss any spots, all right? So here, since this is an odd shape, um, this is like kind of an odd shape, you may just need to kind of, um, you may not always see exactly what's wet, depending like maybe on your lighting and maybe the, maybe the floor color and stuff. But if you look at, like, the, like maybe if you might have to go further away from it and maybe see the reflection in the light or something. And um, so here, so we are really moving along here. We've actually vacuumed quite a bit. I might go, I'm probably about done with the mopping pretty close to it. I might go ahead and um, do it here. Um, let's move this. Ooh, is that like nails on a chalkboard or what? Okay. So, so this actually, if you haven't vacuumed as much, I might need to come back with the vacuum. If you haven't vacuumed as much, it may be more difficult. If you, um, if you missed a little bit when you're vacuuming. Um, okay. All right. Let's go here. And then. Now with this, you might actually need to do something like this. If you do get on the window, you might want to get that off the window later. Just kind of be aware. Um, trying to have clean windows. Okay, let's finish this up. Can like kind of do like a spin if you want to like if you're coming here you may want to take it and just kind of go and you can kind of do like a spin if you want to maybe put it under the desk and do a spin or maybe a partial spin maybe we'll get stopped and sometimes you might need to do that one method maybe not generally but all right okay so who wants to see Really cool vacuums. So that's about it for the mopping. And you guys, you, you my friends, are amazing. You're amazing. Okay, so here we are. I want to show you this is what I like to use. Um, maybe I'll do a video on this someday. I may have already done one kind of, but maybe I'll do more like extensive. So this is awesome for covering huge amounts. Um, of area very quickly. Okay, so what it is, it has like a sweeper right here. It has like a big sweeper on it. And it also has like, I should have like a vacuum, okay? So this is super amazing. Um, absolutely, they wanna hear it turn on. So, this is really cool. So here we go, we're gonna turn that off. Here's like the brush. This is really cool, it has like the brush on the side because if you're going along and you kind of want to get like the edges and um, kind of go like that, it can be really nice. And it's also, oh my word, this is so amazing. It's also, watch this, when I pull this handle right here, yeah, it's so propelled. So this is really good for covering large areas. This is a backpack vacuum, okay? This is truly amazing. This is really good for getting into um, like spots that something like that may not get into as well. And it's pretty cool. Um, backpack, that should be self-explanatory, right? 
and um, hose, boom, yeah. This is amazing. These two things are absolutely incredible. I have used a Kirby before, and a Kirby is amazing vacuum. But um, these, if you if you're in like the janitorial cleaning and you're doing like a lot of um, like a big area, you really might want to consider um, having one of these. So I might even do a, a video on how to bid janitorial cleaning. Um, anyways, my friends, I love you. You are amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments um, below. Please comment and um, please give the video a like if you liked it. Please consider subscribing. I love you. God loves you. You are amazing. You are created for a purpose. You are not an accident. You are special. And Joel, God loves you. You are very loved by God. Someone named Joel. Anyways, my friends, I love you. Thanks for watching. Bye.